In this last lesson of this first overview chapter of Python, we're going to look at how to create functions. Function definitions in Python are very similar to other languages, with one major difference being we put the function definition at the beginning of the script, rather than after the program, which is what you do in a lot of languages. So let's start looking at some examples. We're going to start a new script. And for this first example, we're going to write a function to square a number. So to do that, we start off with the keyword def for define, which tells the interpreter that what's coming is a function definition, followed by the function name, square, followed by a parameter list, one or more pieces of data that we want to pass into the function. In this case, we just want to pass one single number or numeric value, so we'll just write num as our parameter. Then a colon to indicate the beginning of the function body. In the function body itself, we just need one line, a return statement, that returns num times num. Understand that any value returning function has to have a return statement somewhere in the body of the function, but because this is such a simple function to write, we'll just have a single line with the return statement being that line. So now we're ready to test the function. So we skip a line to indicate the end of the function definition, create a variable, assign it a numeric value, and then we'll print the square of that number by calling the function, there's our function call, with the argument, the data that we want to pass in, followed by two closing parentheses to end the statement. So we'll save that file, keep it open. Let's minimize it though. Back to our command prompt window and run the function. And we see that it's 144. That was a fairly simple example, but it was good for showing you what the pieces of a Python function are. Now let's look at a little more complex example. What we want to do here is write a function that converts a given temperature to another scale. So for example, we can go from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we'll start off with def. We're going to call this function convert temp, and then we're going to provide two parameters, the temperature we want to convert and the scale we want to convert to. So for example, if we write 212C, we want to convert 212 to Celsius, and that would be 100. So the way we'll write the function is we'll have an if statement that will say if scale is equal to C, and then we provide the formula, which is the Fahrenheit temperature, the temp, minus 32 degrees times 5 ninths. And then we're going to write else if scale equals F, return the temperature times 9 fifths plus 32. And that's all we need. So comment out these first lines or erase them however you want to do that. I'll comment mine out. And this time we're going to prompt the user to enter the data that we're going to pass to the function. We haven't done any interactive user input and we do that with a built-in function called input. So we're going to say temp equals input and actually we need to convert that, and I'll explain why in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to say int input enter a temperature. The reason we have to convert it is input returns its value, which will be what the user enters as a string. And we want to convert that to a numeric value, and int will work just fine right here. And then we're going to say scale, and we'll use the same names as the parameters, although we don't have to, of course. And here we're not going to have to change anything, so we're going to say input, enter the scale to convert to. Okay? Then we're going to create another variable to get the converted temp. Let's call it converted equals to convert temp, temp, and scale. And then we'll say print the converted temp is string converted. All right, let's give that a shot. Save the file. Back to our command prompt. Clear the screen. And let's go from Fahrenheit to Celsius. The converted temp is 100, so 212 Celsius is 100. Let's run it again. This time let's go 0 to F, and 0 Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is how you write value returning functions. You can also write functions that simply perform some tasks, what are called in other languages void functions, for example. Here's a very simple example. We'll write a function that takes a string and writes that string one character per line. So we're going to say for i in string, print i. Simple enough. But notice we don't have a return value because all we're trying to do is get the effect or the operation of the function rather than a return value. So let's comment out this old code. Now let's write some new code. And we can make it interactive if we like. So we'll say word equals input, enter a word. 
or it could have been a phrase. And then we're going to say one per line word. That's all we have to do. Save the file. Back to our command prompt. Let's clear the screen and then call the script. Let's try it with a sentence. So there's another example. So you can write what are essentially void functions just as well as you can in any other language using Python. So that wraps up this lesson on writing functions. And now we're ready to move to the next chapter where we're still in an overview of Python, but we're going to cover some more advanced topics such as object-oriented programming and creating modules. And we'll begin that in the next lesson in the next chapter.